up, and we are set to get things going. The Penguins take possession to get this one underway. Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. Oh, he got a little sliver of it, and it stays out. The Sabres pick up steam and are on the attack. Pittsburgh's got a hold of it along the wall. Crosby's tripped up, and the official's hand is in the air, signaling penalty. Colleen's called for tripping. He's off to the box. Pittsburgh's man advantage unit will take to the ice for the first time tonight. For the scoreless game, James, an opportunity to go up by one that wanted game possession right off the jaw and set the tempo. A chance to get it out. And they get it out. Here's a short pass to Carter. And he takes the feed. More time off the clock as they grab the puck. The Penguins have a hold of it in the defensive zone. White up Main Street and on the attack. And he takes a shot. The Sabres gain possession of the defensive zone. Puck moved back to center, forcing them to regroup. Picked up along the wall by Raquel. Too many bodies in the way. Pittsburgh's looking to break out. Along the half wall with the puck. Oh, it comes up with a big stop there. Scores! And they tuck it into the back of the net. Come there, James. I think they made this off immediately. This goal is not going to count. and you can tell there's still a little frustration in their faces after that non-goal call. Buffalo's won it. Here inside the defensive zone, they get the puck. And a good, solid hit on that play. Buffalo's got the puck along the wall. Here's a chance to make something happen inside the neutral zone. Trying to get the puck out of his own end. And he gets the job done. Big thumbs up clearing that one. Slides it across to Malkin. And that's deflected. Pokes it away to keep the pressure on. Here he is on the backhand. Answered the call on that play. Goaltender is very aware of where that puck is in that low slot area. And defends his crease by getting out, being aggressive, and taking away any of the net. Gensel's best scoring chances come from when he's shooting the puck when it's flat and settled on the ice. He has great accuracy, and we call that his snipe zone ability. Handles the pass. And he takes the dish. Oh, that has some heat on it. He makes the save. Gets it out of his own end. Great use of the body to knock him off the puck. The pass in front. And that's blocked in front. They are really buzzing here in the offensive end. Here in the offensive zone, they've got the puck. Skates with it to the corner. Looking, looking. And that's blocked at front. And that's blocked. And you know they'll be feeling that one. And they skate it out of the danger zone. Through the middle of the ice, they enter the attacking zone. Here's a pass in front. And he denies that great opportunity there. There's the whistle. Let's get the call from the officials. The Penguins are going to be shorthanded as they are called for tripping. This team is aware that their penalty kill is ranked toward the bottom of the league. It's something they've been actively working on to improve. And, you know, with the confidence that they showcase, they might be able to turn this thing around and shut down this power play right now. Can't hang on to the puck after taking a knock. And the puck skips out of the zone. They'll be forced to tag up. Good read with the stick to break that up. Ruido's lugging the puck. The Penguins take it across the line. Up along the wall on the right side and into the attacking area. Taken by Oposo. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. Quick feed to Oposo. Oh, he couldn't put it past. What a stop by Jari. Well, the shooter's in a coveted spot on the ice, right in the middle of it with a good look, and he makes an incredible save by getting square to the puck and turning it aside. 
Special teams so important. Can they capitalize on this power play here with a faceoff? And a stick in the lane deflects that one away. Poked away at center by Eller. The Sabres gain possession in their own end. And a smart heads-up play to put that away by Graves. That's just a great heads-up read at center ice. Quick pass to Olsson. Oh, he got all of that. What a save by Chari. Oh, these are the saves when you know that your goaltender is dialed in, James. The ability to get to the top of the crease and be square to the shooter, that's a great save. Buffalo's got it along the wall. Here's a chance. Fly to the net and missed. Oh, man, that is so frustrating. He gets the look that he wants. He gets to the right spot on the ice, and then he just misses. Oh, and a good heads-up defensive play. Pittsburgh's got control of the puck. Buffalo's got a hold of the puck now. Quick pass across to Skinner. Can't pull the trigger. Passes out front. Scores! What a finish on the play! Having another look at it on the replay, we can see that he got a piece of it, but just not enough, and it squeaks through to the net. The Sabres land the game's first goal here in the first half of the opening frame. Well, yeah, and I really like their game, James. It's not just about getting on the board first, but I like the way they've established a forecheck and they've held possession. I think they've done a real good job. They've had a consistent effort. Now they've got to find a way to finish the back half of this period the same way. He scores! What a goal! They're striking quickly. Two goals in 50 seconds, James. Cheryl, you stress consistently. Keep your feet moving on the ice, and that pays off. So they got the pedal to the metal right now. They're like a freight train. I really like the way they move the puck around to wait for the right time to be able to move that puck for the one-timer in that low slot area. He didn't have much time to get it off, but he got some wood on it and buried it. Still lots of time left here in this frame. Buffalo's got a two-goal lead. They'd love to build on it. The Penguins take control of the faceoff. Look at this down the right wing. They're on the attack. Centering feed. Misses the net. The Sabres gain control of the puck against the wall. Angles it over to Skinner. He's in all alone. He scores! That's how you finish! This entire play is fantastic, James. Speed, reading the play. And he recognizes he's got a ton of time. Freezes the tender the midway mark in this period. Buffalo's been showing relentless pressure lately, now up by three. And play resumes as the puck is dropped. And a stick break set up. Strong defensive effort. Big time hit along the boards, and there's no give there. Well, there isn't, and you can just feel the rumble of the boards from up here. Just bone crushing, separating body from puck. Answered the call there. Jari is able to get to position and negate that dangerous lock shot. And it's a quick pass to Power. Grabbed along the board by Jost. Pittsburgh's got possession of the puck. Oh, what a hit against the boards! Executed perfectly, James. I mean, he can't maneuver. He's got nowhere to go. He's lined up, and then he's taken down. Takes the feed. Receives the pass. The Sabres get a hold of the puck in their own end. Takes the feed. Goes right to the crease. Yeah. Scores! Look who's on the board. That's his first of the year. Well, without a ton of time and space in that high slot area, he makes the right choice of selection of shots with that quick snapshot. Pulls it into the feet, disguises the angle, and beats the goalie clean.
that, the first period is in the books. Both teams with a chance of a refresh. We'll get a clean sheet of ice and come back with period number two. Fans back in their seats. Teams are on the ice. They're ready to drop the puck here for period number two. A one-sided affair thus far. Let's see if anything changes here with the start of the second. Pittsburgh's got a hold of it against the wall. On the attack along the boards. Takes the shot. And the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. I really like to save James because he challenges the shooter who's all alone in the slot area. He turns aside a real dangerous opportunity. Oh, and a good textbook hit there. He says, let's get physical on that play. Buffalo's got the puck along the boards. They've got some momentum here. Beat the goaltender, but couldn't beat the post. Buffalo's players are continuing to press, and I really like this about their game, James. Yes, they just wired one off the post, but they're playing with the lead. They're continuing to attack. They're not sitting back at all. And he turns that one aside. And here's the pass to Malkin. Odd man rush. Oh, and they scored! They came, they saw, they took advantage of the rebound and scored. When you have a player like this that cannot get pushed off of the puck, a lot of it can be attributed to power and the physicality, yes, but how about the core strength that it takes and the agility and the mobility to be able to know exactly how you have to position your body. I mean, he is just incredible. And then he pulls off a beautiful play, his eyes on the prize here, not the net, but his teammate is wide open. The Penguins win the faceoff. Moves it quickly over to Malkin. The Penguins play it along the wing. Puck picked up by Malkin. Jabbed at push, and he can't be taken off balance, James. That's because he's got that low center of gravity and poor strength. He does get a shot off. The goaltender makes a great read. The Sixers will serve two for slashing. The Penguins send their man advantage here tonight once more. They haven't scored on their power play yet. They've earned this opportunity. They'll get another look at it. Look for different adjustments to be made. Good use for the body on the play. Slides it back to the blue line. Pittsburgh's going to play the puck from behind the cage. And now it's grabbed by Carter. Here he is with the backhander. Scores! Here it is. A power play goal. Well, that's a great shot, James. I mean, with his head up, he looks at the goaltender. Quick release that beats the goaltender five hole. The Penguins finally get one back. Now can they get a few more? Uh, you certainly know that you can get back in a game. Only a two-goal deficit, and sometimes it doesn't take long when you're on your toes and you're playing with urgency. Great heads-up play in the neutral zone by Raquel. Picking up momentum across the zone here on the right side. It's a contact sport, people. There's proof right there. The Penguins carry it along the wall. Works it across to Skinner. Here they come on the attack. Frank James shuts him down. Puck grabbed by Raquel. Slides the cross ice pass. And they'll go the other way with it. Buffalo's working hard in all areas of the ice. Defense is structure, and it needs to happen in all three zones. When you're talking about stick positioning, they're doing a great job of taking away passes. Here's a pass in front. Doesn't go as it's off a stick. Here's a short pass to Samuelson. Can't hang on to the biscuit after that. Inside the offensive end now down the left. Moves inside. Denies him. Moves a 
right near the blue line and looks to set up at the point. Great save by Lukanen. Tries to feed it over to Olafson. Through the neutral zone and into the offensive end. And he That's a beautiful finish, but I'm telling you, he's got to go over to his teammate and say thank you very much for that beautiful pass. I mean, it was placed perfectly on his stick. He didn't have much time to react, but he could collect it, and he found a way to put it home. The Sabres are showing no signs of slowing down, and here we are in the late stages of period number two. They continue to hit down the accelerator. Yeah, and the coach must be loving this. I mean, sometimes you can't put your finger on exactly why it's working the way it is, but the chemistry is off the charts here, and they've got a comfortable lead. Oh, and they can't keep the puck in the zone. They'll be forced to tag up. Poked away by Rust. Good hit to pump him off the puck. Now a quick pass to Crosby. The fans desperately urging for him to shoot before the clock winds down. And that carries off a body in traffic. And with that, two periods now in the books. Been a great night of hockey here on EA Sports, and we got the third period coming at you in moments. The moment of truth has arrived for both these teams. Third period action set to go. We are underway here in the third. Let's see if there's any sort of saving face at one end of the ice. Cheryl, 40 minutes in the books now played. How do you view this one? Buffalo's been consistent through 40 minutes of play here, James, and they have a comfortable lead. Now it's about bringing it home, and in order to do that, you've got to make sure that you're defensively responsible. Hammers the shot! Denies him! He got all of it! From off the wall and onto a stick. And that's picked up by Thompson. Looking to make something happen along the boards. by the goaltender to redirect it to the corner, getting it out of danger. According to the league's schedule makers and no love lost between these two sides, tickets still available should be a good one. Pittsburgh's been the better team tonight, in my opinion, but still, they trail here in the third period despite having the advantage in shots. Takes a shot! Oh, a save on the play! Oh, that's such an athletic save, James. I mean, that's just all about... The oh, what? Tip. Oh, pokes it away. Gutsy move, but it pays off. 
he gives it over to Samuelson and tries to make a diagonal pass to Thompson. And somehow he hangs on. Quick feed to Thompson and makes the save. Puck is frozen and we'll get a face off. Skinner's been lighting the lamp with this point streak, playing so confident. He knows where he is on the ice, and it just seems that every time he makes his way towards the net, the puck's going in. The Sabres will go to work here in the offensive zone. Oh, they'll be forced to start over from center as the puck leaves the zone. Nice connection on cross ice pass. Look at that hit. Maybe try to wear down the opponents here. Play is whistled dead as the puck goes up and over. Pittsburgh's been leading in the shot department most of the night, but they continue to trail here late in the third. The Sabres win the defensive zone faceoff. Here's a chance! That's it, there's the final horn to close this one up. And the win streak comes to an abrupt end as they completely laid an egg on the ice tonight. Yeah, and sometimes when you're on a winning streak and you're playing really well, you just assume that it's gonna continue because you're feeling so great, you're confident, you're communicating, and then all of a sudden there's a roadblock. A team that's got more steam than you do, and really they just didn't have an answer tonight. Well, that'll bring it into an exciting night of hockey. And for all of us here at EA Sports, including Danny, Matt, Natalia, all in the truck, I'm James. She's Cheryl. Good night, everybody. Welcome to Steeltown, where the Penguins were born during the expansion era in 1967 and have won countless cups since. Great energy both inside and outside the arena tonight as we are just moments away now from puck drop. The Penguins kick things off by winning the opening faceoff, and here we go. Picked up along the boards by Gensel. Oh, trying to pick his corner and puts it off the outside of the post. Great chance there, James, and an opportunity to get the go-ahead goal, but the pipe gets in the way, and it says, not today. Official blows the play dead as the puck goes out of bounds. 
Lots of time left in this period. Still looking for our first goal. McCann's won the draw here in the offensive zone. Oh, and the puck clears the zone. They'll be forced to do this one over. Locked him in the open ice. Ford's made an incredible play there, James. He stumbles in front of the net, but finds the puck and could have lost it, but manages to stay with it enough to get a shot off. Great defensive effort with the stick. Pittsburgh's gained possession along the boards. Across the line from center. Moves it to the middle. to get tight to the net here and it's all about accuracy and a quick release it's not about how hard it is and he doesn't miss seattle's hard work pays off as they get on the board first here tonight yeah getting on the board first over halfway through the first period and you know there hasn't been much going on here in this game it's been back and forth but it's starting to open up with this first goal gotta hope that there's some more offense in this one there's a shot and the lane's clogged up blocking that. The Penguins move the puck in the defensive zone. Seattle's ready to go on the attack. Handles the puck. On the attack into the offensive end, right up the gut. Knocks the puck loose. Quick pass to Malkin. And the puck skips away after that move. Well, he's got such a slick set of hands. He's trying to manipulate his opponent one by one, but he tries one too many, James, and he loses the puck. Textbook poke check by Borgen. Puck scooped up by Carlson. Moves it to Eller. Pittsburgh's in now. Seattle's looking to break out of their own end. Moves it quickly over to Wenberg. Seattle's got the puck against the boards. Here's a short pass to Wenberg. Takes that pass back at the point. Oh, it gets a block from on What a stop by Chari. Joseph stick handling in his own zone. Reads the pass perfectly and picks it off. Seattle's been excellent tonight, James. They found ways to work hard on and off of the puck. And when they're away from it, they've really done a great job of being in good position to be able to take away lanes and angles, seams, you name it. But it has to translate to something. This is still a close game. Gets a piece of it to make the save. With possession along the wall. The Kraken have taken possession in their own end. Wax it into the offensive zone. Moves the puck. Getzel's got it in the defensive end. Pass to the point. Scores! And we are tied. New game here, Pounder. Oh, yeah, it's a new game, James. Ah, uh, but I really like the pushback to get the equalizer. And now it's what they do with that momentum. This next shift, it's critical. It looks like the goaltender's tracking the puck really well. His movement is agile, but he just can't keep up to that quick release shot on the inside of the post. In the final moments of this period, we are all tied up in this one. Belmar's quick stick lands from the puck here at center. The Penguins gain possession. First period almost in the books here, nearing the final 60 seconds. Quick feed to Graves. He knows he's only one goal away from his next milestone, and that's why he's possessing the puck tonight. And he takes the pass. Puts it on the Oh, at the buzzer, a big save. There you go, period number one is done. We're gonna come back in just a quick moment with period number two, stay with us. Welcome back everybody, James Sabalski with you. Period number two, the middle frame ready to go. Looking for that go-ahead goal here as the play is underway in the second. 
Well, Cheryl, already a third of this one played. What do you make of this one? Pittsburgh's got to find their legs, James. I mean, right from puck drop, they just... Break away! Broken up with the backjack! I think he thought he had it, James. He thought he was going to put it in, and then out of nowhere, the defender comes, shows the speed, and the relentless attack on that puck. Stop that one. Steps in front of that one. Feeds the puck up to Burakovsky. Takes it and looks ahead. The Penguins take possession in the defensive end. And that's broken up with a stick in front. Sends it over to Burakovsky. Pass across to Gore. Quick pass to Larson. And that's a great heads up play by Latang. The Penguins have it now. Makes a move and the puck hops away from him. Slides it quickly to Schwartz. On the attack, they come down the right wing. From the open ice, they gain the line. Scores! Talk about swing on the finish with that one. He does the work to get to that position on the breakaway, James. And then the pressure is on. You know you don't get these opportunities all the time. A golden one it is, and he cashes it. Man, has he ever had his legs tonight? Look at him break away from the pack. He's in all alone. It's a one-off-one -on -one battle, James, with a little bit of a pause there to get the goaltender to bite, and then he puts it in the back of the net. Pittsburgh's push here in the second is paying off as they now lead by one. Well, you can certainly see the energy shift in the bench and the coaching staff talking to the team about continuing to push. Keep the pedal to the metal here. While you have your opponent down, you got to attack. Walks him into the boards. The Penguins gain possession along the wall. And that was read perfectly. What a play by Dumoulin. Oh, he hit him and caught all of it. Oh, and that's a tough one, James. You're along the boards. They don't have a lot of give. What that means, you're feeling it all. Moves it to Bjorkstrand. Stones him in front. Here in the back half of this period, the Penguins are hanging on to this one goal lead. They'd love to add another. Puck is dropped, and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Moves it quickly over to Carlson. The Penguins play it along the boards. The Kraken have the puck in their own zone. Oh, and a board rattling hit right there. Uh, certainly was lined up perfectly by tougher play than it looks, James. You have to have timing and an awareness to be able to get your stick on that rebound and then bury it. Not a lot of time and space available, but he executes perfectly. Both centers ready to take the draw here coming up. Belmar's won the draw at center. Here's a short pass to Joseph. From the right side, he goes to the middle of the neutral zone. And that pass goes off a stick. Back at the point, they set it up. Brissos moving the puck through his own zone. Gets the puck in deep. The Penguins gain control of the puck against the wall. Great hook by Brissol. The Kraken have the puck on the attack. Solid check to slow him down. Fires it into the offensive zone. Scooped up along the wall by Smith. Seattle's got the puck behind the net. Quick pass over to Belmar. Here they come through center and into the offensive end. He grabs the puck here at the point. Off the wall, Tiger. And we'll get a reset after the puck goes up and out of play. Ready to get that significant other in your life, or maybe that child who's been waiting all their lives to get that first jersey. Team Store's got you covered. This is the online. The Penguins take possession off the faceoff. Tonight by Hill. Boards gaining momentum. Good reach of the stick to knock the puck away. Big save right at the end. 
Well, there you go. We played 40 minutes. Final chance for the coaches to push their messages home. And we'll see the third period coming up in just a matter of moments. Seattle sending their power play unit out for the first time tonight. Well, they've earned their first power play of the game. A tone setter right here and an opportunity to look at the coverage on the setup. Quick feet. Well, you can't do that or you're going to find your way marching over to the box. Sometimes it's just a product of keeping your feet moving. And when you reach and you take your opponent's feet out, you're going to get the two minutes for tripping. Seattle's won the faceoff. That's a great save, but the goaltender had to get out to the top of his crease, take away all the ice and make himself as big as possible. My goodness, look at this. The pressure is really starting to cook. Takes him from the right side. Jostled off the puck. Shot. Oh, gets a little piece of it and keeps it out of the net. Here in the corner, he grabs the puck. The Penguins get a hold of the puck under man. From the point, they take control of it. And that goes off someone in front and doesn't reach the net. And now he passes it to Ruido. Pittsburgh's on the attack. And that's some great pressure in the offensive end by Gensel. Denies the shooter on that play. Oh, what a save as he denies them again. Into the offensive end now. And he slides it quickly to Veneers. Made the stop on that play. Centering pass. And it carries off a twig in front of the net. Quick pass to Veneers. And look at this. All sorts of pressure here building. Look at this pass. And Connor did got going. Over to the boards to Veneers. Passes again. Then over to Veneers. And there's the whistle. Penalty coming up here. but they don't have much time to work with it. They've got to attack and drive. They've still got an opportunity to hit strike, not just once, but possibly twice. They've got to find a way to get it to the net. Pittsburgh's got control of the puck. Routine save made by Hill. There's the whistle as the puck is frozen up. Russ's been feeling it, James. You know who else is feeling it? His teammates. They have been the beneficiaries of a great leader on the ice who's just been distributing the puck and generating a ton of offense. Taken by Joseph. Moves it around along the half wall. Eller's going to join the penalty kill here as they remain short-handed. Yamamoto's got it across the line. Floats the saucer pass. Sends the puck across. Quick shot. And that goes off course off a of body. Trying to get something going here with this man advantage as they start from their own end. Puck picked up by Schwartz. Pokes it away in his own end. Moves it to Crosby. Slick feed. The Kraken have possession along the boards. Good fight for the puck along the boards. Pushes it across to Winberg. The Penguins will try to shave a few seconds off this penalty now. They go on the attack through center. Crosby's got it against the boards. Takes a shot. Denies him with the pad. It always amazes me that goaltenders often make this save look easy with all of that traffic in front and screen. I mean, it is important to battle and find the sight lines. And this goaltender oh, does a great job of making it happen. Pittsburgh's won the draw and they'll go to work. And they'll battle for that loose puck along the boards. And now it's to Beneers. And that pass is redirected. And he takes the feed. The Kraken have the puck in the defensive zone. Takes the feed in the middle of the ice. Great reach with the stick by Beneers. Can't hang on after that hit. Gensel's almost back on the ice. A center feed! And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Here's a shot. The man advantage is over. 
Miss PK, they didn't even sit back. They didn't let them set up, and they were very aggressive. And when you do that, you create opportunities, and they put them on their heels. Stops that one. There's the whistle as the puck stopper elects to hang on. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame. You can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. Scoops up the puck off the draw. Burakowski's got it in the offensive zone. Misses wide of the net. Sometimes players get into those scoring areas. They try and get a little too cute, and that's a result right there, not hitting the net. Streaking into the attacking zone for the right. Fires it! Quick stop by Hill! There's another stop! What a great job of tracking the puck. Not one, but two consecutive saves. The centermen glide into position. Mulkins won the draw, and they're on the attack. Moves it quickly over to Ruido. Taken along the wall by Brissot. Drills him. Here's a short pass to Malkin. And he turned that aside as we continue play here. The Penguins gain control of the puck. Pittsburgh's got the puck against the boards. Shot! Tremendous stop with the blocker by Hill! You have to be quick in your crease if you want to be able to deny low zone shots. He does that perfectly as he's tight to the shooter right there. Moves into the slot! Big save in front! And they'll cover it up, forcing a stoppage in play. The Blue Jackets travel into town next here on this homestand and be curious to see how this team responds in one of the more vocal buildings in the league. Seattle's got possession here in their own end. Up along the wing. They put the puck into the offensive end. Takes the pass. Carlson's got it into offensive territory. Oh, I think that goes off the mat. And it stays out and play continues. I've never been a goaltender except in road hockey, James. But I tell you, if you take one off the mask, you gotta be rattling. But nonetheless, he finds a way to get the save. And that's what you gotta do. Put everything in front of it if you want to make the stop. Turns it away on the slap shot. Can't keep a hold of it after that hit. The Penguins will play it in their own end. Here's a shot. That's been locked up in a dogfight all evening long, but look at this. They pushed through and found that go-ahead goal here in period number three. Well, I think they continue the scrappy dogfight. Don't get in the mindset to sit back. If you sit back and you allow entry into your zone, guess what? You're playing defense. Get on the hunt. Get on the prowl. Stay on the puck, and you'll win this game. Crosby's got the puck in his own zone. Sends a pass over. Oh, he made the save. How did he stop it? I have no idea, James. I mean, he was down but profound athleticism and desperation got him back in to make it. I really want to look at this last save again, James, because this is about taking it to the next level when you have this level of competitiveness, athleticism, and desperation and urgency in your game. You know that goaltending coach, they can't just teach this. This is instinctual, and this is what winners are made of. And a solid job tying up his opponent. Hill's really impressed me tonight, James. Just look at that last sequence and that desperation save. Unbelievable. I mean, when it's required to be calm and poised, he's got quiet feet. But when he needs to move and make a desperation play, he does it. And there's the save of the play. Into the corner of the attacking area. Oh, just a great heads-up play by Rust. That knocks him off the puck. Towards the game in there. They score!
you can see the body language on them, James. The dying moments of the game, and they're able to get the empty net goal. Everyone can take a deep breath here, as that should do it. It's third stop time, and after that empty netter, uh, quite a significant lead on their side now here, Cheryl. Yeah, James, it's all but over, isn't it? And that's a great play to be able to get that puck to and feet down the ice when you're under pressure with the extra time. And this one is all over as the final horn sounds. The Penguins have to feel good about the performance tonight. They really dictated the pace of this game. Well, it's easier to dictate the pace when you have the puck on your stick. I mean, you determine the outcome of the game when you're making the decisions with the puck and have your opponent chasing it. Well, we certainly had a great time tonight. Everybody in the broadcast crew as well. And from all of us here at EA Sports, I'm James Sabalski wishing you a safe and healthy night. And we'll see you down the road again soon.